Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 18 box out of the park baseball mixer with two graded cards we're giving away, which is pretty nice. Oh, the photo doesn't want to expand. Maybe if I refresh the page, there you go. These two graded cards, pretty nice stuff. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize the 30 names. The name on top gets the Frank Thomas PSA 10. There's the value right there. And the second name will get the Fernando Tatis 2018 Bowman's Best Gold Auto valued at that price right there. Obviously, these graded cards and the caliber of these players, those values can increase in the future, we hope. Those are all the boxes right there. And good luck. Big thanks to everybody who picked up their team straight up. And then we also have the winners of those mini breaks as well. So big thanks to those of you who participated in that. All baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a five is six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, just double checking on the six, Tyler Peterson down to Zach. All right, one and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Padres all the way down to the Red Legs. Was there an earthquake? No, oh, in San Bernardino County. COVID protests, a 5-5 earthquake in San Bernardino County, which is about, I don't know, 100 miles plus east of here. All right, Tyler with the Padres, Ryan with the Royals. Let's finish this break before we slip into the ocean. Ron with the Diamondbacks, Zach Paul with the Twins, Kevin M with the Strohs, Brandon Walker with, it's only a 5-5, it's not that bad. Greg with the Phillies, Talon with the Rays, Zach with the Pirates, Jacob with the Yankees, Will with the Mariners, Adam Richards with the Indians, David with the Cubs, Adam Kupperman with the Rangers, BZ with the Blue Jays, Kevin, Last Spot Mojo, Giants, Adam with the Tigers, Anthony with the Mets, Derek Melanson, you got my Dodgers, Will with the White Sox, Zach with the Braves, Brett Myers, you got the O's, Quentin with the Marlins, Chris with the Angels, Dennis with the Cardinals, Chris with the A's, Greg with the Rockies, Andrew with the Brewers, Martin with the Red Sox, and Zachary, Zachary and Zach Morris with the Reds. I'm sure he, I'm sure he didn't get teased at all in school. All right, there you go. Let's sort that by column B, by team. And we're gonna pause the video, allow for some trading time, and when we come back, We'll have the break itself. In fact, the boxes are right above my head, right there. These are the two things we're giving away, which is pretty awesome. Name on top gets that. Second name will we'll get that, which is pretty nice. So there you go. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. A lot of a lot of trade chatter. I'm not even kidding. But no deals were done eventually. I think eventually people were like, wait a second, I could hit that guy. And the people got nervous. No one ended up doing deals. But that's all right. It's all good. Everyone got a chance to trade. There we go. And again, here are the top two on the randomizer. We'll be getting this, so we'll save that to the end. Um, all the boxes are right here. Let's start with, I'm going to grab some Chronicles. Let's do some of the heavier stuff first. Get some of this out of the way first. All right, so we got, let's go 2013, select first. Let's go a little older here. There you go. He did it for the win. The bunt was the right play.
baseball. I mean, he looks safe though. Is this a home? If this is a home game, the scorer, the score at the ballpark should give Bernie Mac the three the hit on that. Who cares what the ump says? Just score to hit. What's up, Jay Cohen? What do I think? Over under 50 games for baseball this summer? Last week, I would have said over. This week, I'm saying under. Next week, don't know. But you can't just throw a ball into the crowd. That's dangerous. Some kid on their cell phone might get hit. Mix up things zero? I know. Right at the moment right now, it seems to be trending that way. Because you'd have to try to get what 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 is it? Early May? You'd have to get like you'd have to get the deal done this week, basically. Get players in next week to do mini spring training. Try to get the first game going like I think you'd have to do like all star game first at Dodger Stadium. We're losing an all star game, by the way. And then you start game regular season game one after that and try to get like 70, 80 games in. Uh, I mean, how few... There's Kirk Neuheis. Neuheis, that is. I mean, how few games as fans is acceptable for, for a baseball season to be credible in your eyes? Is that, is that number 50? That's kind of low. I mean, if we can't get what's 70 to 80, that's the magic number right there. At this point, I was hoping 100, but I mean, 50 games is what, 30% of the season? Are you saying, I don't know, is that acceptable? At that point, just scratch it, right? 53 games is 33% is, is of the season. That's not even, I mean, out of 25 gold. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, Jay Cohen. Uh, do you care if it's credible at this point? No, you're right. I just want to see some kind of baseball happen. We got Chris Herman to 750 for Minnesota. That will be for Zach Paul. Starling Marte Gold to 25. I mean, yeah, I guess we're splitting hairs. You know, 50, 60 games, does that even matter? Jeff Dorlak, a Yankee fan says scrap this year. There's uh, Melky Mesa. I do not remember Melky Mesa. I remember, I remember uh, Joe Mesa, Jose Mesa. Uh, in 2013, a Yankee. There you go, Andy. Yeah, Jeff, I don't know what a, what a Yankee fan has to do with the, the season ending. Maybe all the injuries. I suppose there was a lot of injuries in spring training. With Didi Gregorius to 750. This is Arizona Diamondbacks edition. That goes to Ron Shepard. Jack B says you can see a lot of pitcher injuries because of managers overusing. Well, managers overuse. I mean, yeah, maybe. I hope. I wish they wouldn't. I hope they wouldn't. You would think there has to be like a, some sort of. Ex Slightly expanded roster rule, especially if they're squeezing a lot of games in. 
in a short amount of time. Whoa, look at this ALDS. Sean Figgins, Garrett Anderson, Mark Teixeira, Vlad, Tori Hunter, Mike Napoli, Juan Rivera, Howie Kendrick, Eric Ibar. That's a murderer's row right there. This is ALDS game four in 2008. Woo! Look at this on MLB Network, folks. Yeah, if you yeah, if they get expanded rosters, then maybe Jack, that that won't be as much of a concern. Yeah, I mean maybe maybe 40, 40 man rosters. Martin saying play every day, no days off. You got to get one or two days off, but no, no, yeah, I hear you though. I think uh, I think maybe. Some teams wouldn't like it because it would probably give deep teams like the Dodgers and Yankees a competitive advantage. So maybe the teams that are not as fortunate will probably say no to that. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe if all, if you have all forty guys on on your forty man roster. Could be interesting. Would the players go for it though? Uh, Jason Bay, Ellsbury, and JD Drew in the Red Sox outfield. Spoiler alert: This was a sad times game for the Angels. There's Paul Goldschmidt to 199, pink velocity. We'll sleep and top load all of those a little bit later. Woo! Speaking of Vlad Sr., here's his son. Rated rookie. On card autograph, Vlad Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays. That's nice. Brian Zeller. Brian Zeller, there you go, bees. If you flip to the MLB network, you'll probably see Vlad Guerrero Sr. get some A-Bs in this game. There's Williams Astadio to 60. And we got Taylor Trammell, rated prospect, Reds autograph. I think he went to the Dodgers and now and then went to the Red Sox in that in that bet deal. I want to say. Cedric Mullins to seventy-five. All right, let's work through some uh, 2020 Bowman. Ah, Jeter Downs. Taylor Trammell's in San Diego then, J. Cohen. How about that? So if Jeter Downs is in Boston, then I think Taylor Trammell is in, in San Diego now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Will Christian confirming. So is Brian People. So is Andy. Jay Cohen saying Taylor Trammell was traded to Potters in the three-way deal that moved Puig to the Reds. It's so confusing sometimes. Now Jack V saying, listen, with every game meaning so much, even with a 40-man roster, the manager would always want to use the best players, and then the bench will hardly get used, even if the players play every day. Yeah, I could see that too. I mean, it'll the strategy and roster management will be will be very interesting. I appreciate that, Jay Cohen. You know, I can't keep track of every MLB transaction. 
Although I try. I do I do I do love the baseball. Slippery. Wait, what was the what was the story? I don't think we I don't think we really explored this when this story it wasn't a major story, but when the story broke. Trevor Bauer apparently said that Yeah, Bauer was in that deal too. Trevor Bauer said he wants to pitch for the Dodgers? What what was what was what was with that? I don't understand what that deal what that was all about. I don't, could not imagine that would make his current employers very happy. Or maybe it was just an overblown comment, which I wouldn't surprise, wouldn't be surprised. Talk a lot. He sure does. Oh, is he? Oh, is he from LA? Is he from this area? So maybe just is people just connecting dots, or he was just like, yeah, I probably would because I'm from here. All right, the Red Sox lineup: Ellsbury, Pedroia, Big Boppy, Euclidus, JD Drew, Jason Bay. Remember Jason Bay? Mark Kotze, Jed Lowry, and Tech. I'm not missing any. Sorry, I'm going to start this over. <laughs> I didn't, didn't miss any Domingue, right? Just making sure. Yeah, when Bauer was pulled from a game, Jack, yeah, he did fire a, a baseball in the center field. It's kind of funny because he almost immediately apologizes to uh, to them. I think it was it was uh, Tito, Terry Francona. He almost immediately apologized to him. Was like, my, he just got, just saw red for a moment. Keone Cavaco. And we got Andy Pagas, 64 out of 150, blue chrome autograph for the Dodgers. Derek Melanson with my Dodgers. This paper, let's protect it in this top loader right here. That goes to the A's, Chris, Chris Welty with that. Sean Figgins at third. Is Jason Bays? Rookie card on the Expos? I yeah, I I always think of him as a pirate, like Jack. Bobby Wood Jr. paper going to Ryan Redmond and the Royals. Wow, Jay Cohen's and ba Jason Bay hit 341 with three homers, nine RBIs, and a 1105 OPS are in the 2008 playoffs. Rake. That rake, though. Kiebert Ruiz, 250 purple paper. We just need just Jason Dominguez at the incredible box. Yeah, 
Jason Dominguez here, but we did get a Bobby Wood Jr. and a Robert Possum. Right, let's move this Chronicles here. Ooh, Vlad Sr. up to bat. We got Tim Anderson. Nice. For Chicago, the White Sox, Will Christian. We've got Yusai. There's a Pete Alonzo rookie card. Charlie Blackman to 99 for the Rocks. And we got Pablo Lopez for Miami. That'll be for Quentin Carter and the Marlins. An absolute rookie autograph. Pitcher out of Venezuela. We got Sean Anderson to 75. Kyle Tucker, Francisco Lindor. We got Michael Chavis, Contenders Baseball Autograph. I've heard some Red Sox fans mix up say they like this kid a lot. And there's a super thick card here. What else we got here? Can Kyle Tucker, Yelich. Well, I guess we flash forward to Vlad to the third inning. Uh, we got Dakota Hudson. Big Cornerstones quad relic and autograph. 45 out of 99 for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Dennis. Let's get into that 180 top loader there. There you go. Dennis with the Redbirds. Do these here. Looks like we got a jumbo box of 2020 Bowman. No, let's but let's do this old elite box first from 2015. Yeah, someone someone hire Bartolo Colon. I feel like he could still uh, gobble up some innings. One of my favorite videos is uh, is him hitting that home run in San Diego. Ryan Harold, do you rewatch that Homer Weekly? It's a, it's so good. And then like the. And they clear the dugout, and he's just sitting by himself for a little bit. Jay Cohen says, I, w I just wanted to play, so there's just one major leaguer still older than you. Base hit off the bat of Sean 
All right. Got Stephen Moya, 67, die cut. Mark McGuire, Cardinals edition, throwback threads. That'll go to Dennis. Uh, is Phil Hughes in this 2015 set? You want me to pull it so you can sell it back to him? There's Rookie Essentials. There's Daniel Norris for the Blue Jays, 48 out of 75. Goes to Brian Zeller. I would have. Uh, I would just send it to him and have him sign it. Jimmy Rollins, when he was a Dodger, to 89. Back to back, Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz. Both uh, Mariners, that'll go to Will Comstock, Bulldog Band. We got Shelby Miller, status, die cut, autographed, 49. What happened to Shelby Miller? Braves edition, Zach with the Bravos. Alex Gordon to 199. And Marcus Stroman to 49. Saddest die cut auto. Yeah, well, Jimmy Rollins was a Dodger for like half a second. Blue Jays, Brian Zeller. Anything you think you think the Miller deal sucked for everybody? See you, Sean. Thought the uh, Dansby looks like a bust. Does he? I thought he was doing okay. Maybe not. I think he he has a good glove. I'm keeping the league for a while. Uh, there's Vlad Guerrero Senior. Two on, two outs, 0 oh and 2 the count. Jumbo edition, three. Hey, yeah, only one year so far. War over two, that's above replacement better than your next average triple-A guy. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're, we're expecting more for number one overall pick. Yeah, I guess I would too. I actually don't remember what kind of player he was supposed to be. Like, I guess if you go number one overall, you, you're expecting some, uh, some more offensive output. He's got to be. I don't think he's that old, is he, Dansby Swanson? And yeah, maybe you want All Star level shortstop. Is that where is that where Lasorda takes that tumble? Speaking of Braves, if if uh, if Nick Mark Cakes gets three thousand hits, is he a Hall of Famer? Discuss. There is Baron Laura to 150. Blue Chrome for the Rangers. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Ooh, and a purple paper, Jason Dominguez. None in the hobby box, but one right here for uh, Jacob. 
Jacob K and the Yankees. Nice purple paper, Jason Mingas, the Martian. That's pretty nice. That's not too shabby at all. Someone look that up. What, what do his purple papers go for these days? And there's um, Alvaro Cejas for the Cardinals. Dennis Foley. And a paper, Jason Dominguez, regular. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. It's a nice box. Royals, Ryan Redman. And he says, Nick Marquez has 645 hits. He's 36. Doubt he does it. Or will he? Or will he? Or will he do it? 645. Calculator. 645 divided by 125. Five more. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. 125 hits for five more seasons, five or six more seasons. You don't think he can do that? Jason Dominguez Chrome now. Wow. Josh Gregory saying that, oh, 100 to 125 on that paper, purple paper, Dominguez. Nice. 118 hits last year. All right, so maybe a couple seasons where he's over, a couple seasons where he's under, averages it out. Wow. And a Jason Dominguez speckle autograph to 299. Jacob and the Yankees, he won that. In one of our mini box breaks. Woo! Man. What a great mixer. Especially for the Yankees. That is strong. Very nice. I, I, I wish those cards are awesome. I wish they sold the, for a lot more. The speckle cards. Yeah, I mean, isn't that that's an old? They used to do speckles back in the day. I like that. The crack the atomic are great. The atomics are great. Yeah. There's Bobby Witt Jr. paper. All of those will add up. Royals. I know. Josh Gregory has he has he even seen any? It's about almost a two thousand dollar autograph. Josh is reporting. Has he even seen minor league hitting or pitching? Bobby Wood Jr. paper for the Royals. Ryan Redman. There's Tony Drabel. Seventy eight out of one fifty blue chrome autograph for the Metropolitans. Anthony, with that one. No, right? Yeah. I think if you, according to uh, Bowman Baseball, the Bowman Scouts top 100, I think he's like in the middle of the pack. I think like, I think that's his, I think he's in the middle of the pack somewhere. Which is crazy if he's not seen any, any minorly hitting at all. But maybe he's just that. Much of the real deal. Andrew Vaughn, refractor to 499, Chicago White Sox. That goes to Will Christian. Robert Possum for the A's. Actually, yeah, he's not going to see any minor league hitting this year either, now that you put it that way. Yeah, which sucks. Another chance 
Kyle saying, so if he's in the middle of the pack, why is he, well, guess who the, t I mean, the top prospect is probably Wander Franco or something like that. These cards aren't going for a lot. A lot of it has to do with, a lot of it has to do with, uh, Gavin Lux is up there. He doesn't sell nearly as well as Jason Dominguez. Why? I'll tell you why. Because A, Jason Dominguez is a Yankee. <laughs> B, he's a Yankee. And C, he's a Yankee. D, he was named after Yankee slugger Jason Giambi of the Yankees. And he's got a great nickname, the Martian. That's why. So you put all that, that, that legend and mythology together and then in a massive market like New York with rabid sports fans, then all of a sudden, boom. Yeah, and an international prospect as well. So like you haven't seen him in high school or college, you know, so he's like shiny, brand new. And then combine that with, I'm sure some people who saw like a few, uh, a few blurry videos of him just raking against teenage pitching in the Dominican Republic and then all of a sudden <laughs> everyone's like he's the next big thing I don't know I mean I figured the scouts have to know five tool prodigies produce exit velocity as high as 110 miles per hour at 110 miles per hour as an amateur and he's a switch hitter too who are other good uh, Yankee switch hitters? They like they like switch hitting. Some legends there. Hmm. All right. It's the next box here. We're actually moving through this pretty nicely. Uh, let's do the older one first. 2017 Bowman's best. All right, there you go, Cal. Yeah, it is. must be called the Martian because his card prices are out of this world. And his skill level. That's what they say. update Adam Kupperman good luck Adam Kupperman called tops on the expired Aaron Judge redemption from this set right here and he said hey mail it in and they'll see if they have it all right better than nothing good luck keep us posted tops won't do that for a lot of redemptions though probably not most Aaron Judge yeah they may, maybe maybe they would All right, there you go. Good luck, Andy, on the Durant. How many years out is Jason Dominguez from making the Major League roster? I don't know. I mean, there are there are very recent instances of of people uh, of players coming up early. Juan Soto, Bryce Harper, Alex Rodriguez. So who knows? There's the Keston Hira. That goes to Andy and the Brew Crew. Keston, a Southern California kid. <laughs> Ian Happ, raking rookies to 99. That'll be for David Sitko and the Cubs. Uh, 
Evan White to 99 for the M's. Brendan McKay could be a great two-way player for the Rays. Out of Tomic will go to the Rays. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Brian Zeller. With the Bluebirds. We got Mitch Keller, Pirates. It's going to go to Zach. Zach M. Uh, Ted, yeah. talk to me about uh, your feelings on Nick Markakis. You don't think he's going to get three? No, your countryman? Oh, Moose, that's true. There's Moose as well. Euclid <laughs> is in this game. He's not great. Is he not? No. I'm just being racist then. He's Jewish. Ah. I did not know that. There you go. Learn something new every day here at Jaspi, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the Kesson was just a base auto. I didn't see a number on it. He's got a sharp auto, too. All right, good luck, everybody. There's rookie Pete Alonzo, and we've got Jake Bowers. Rookie auto for the try. That'll be for Adam Richards. That Pete Alonzo will go to Anthony in the Mets. We were talking the other day. The ideal, the ideal uh, Pete Alonzo, hashtag good for the hobby. Would be him winning the MVP this year and then taking the Mets to a World Series and winning that in the next few years. There's Nick Lodolo. Imagine his cards then, the value. Zach M with the Reds, the Red Legs, the Reds. DJ LeMayhew, Purple Chrome. And we got Zach Thompson, Cardinals, Redbirds, Dennis with St. Louis. Behind closed doors, jobs are still getting done. Looks good, right? And she's just getting started. We did it. This will save one of those refractor rookie Kestons for you, too. I, I would have shipped anyway. I'll just sleeve it. Mm, we're pretty, pretty close to the end, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to save some of these for later. We'll do, I guess we'll do these. Maybe I'll do these. What is that? Is that five star? Yeah, we'll do that later. All right, 2020 select. 2020 select. Jay Cohen says, if there's only 50 games, do they even give out an MVP? Hmm. They would have to, I feel like. I feel like players, some players have bonuses attached to attached to uh, MVP awards. I'll bet they want that. 
especially if they're not going to get, you know, if the if the owners keep walking back what they agreed upon back in March. Randy, what's going on? Listen, I asked you to resend that email that night. I still haven't seen it. So, and I kept refreshing my page. So I, I asked you if you could send that again so we can look at it, but I didn't see it that night. So, Justin Dunn, three out of 99. Seattle. There's Manny Machado. Bobby Bradley, that's Will, uh, with the M's, and Bobby Bradley will go to Adam Richards in the tribe. There's Dakota Hudson. Yeah, I can't I can't get emails that you don't send, Brandy, so send it right now. And I'll, I'll I'm going to refresh my email during this break to look for it. And a trout, 25 out of 25, nice atomic jersey. Maybe that have to go into a 180. It'll be more comfortable in there. Mike Trout going to Chris and the Angels. There's to 199. Fernando Tatis Jr. Jersey for the Padres. Oh, that's confusing. Okay, it's under a completely different. I see it now. All right. I see the email now. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to Ultimate Baseball. Tatis Jr., by the way, goes to Tyler Peterson. Now, this ultimate baseball, is there a checklist for this? I don't know. Let's go to groupbreakchecklist.com. Leaf ultimate. Sometimes there's a checklist for this. Sometimes there isn't. This time there is. No, we always default to the checklist first, and then we'll do our usual, our non-pro uniform rules. So here is the spreadsheet right there. PDF if you open that up. All right. Now remember, still big hit opportunities in that fantasy sports case right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep that in mind. There's Alejandro Kirk, Future Stars autograph. And that goes to, oh, it's right there on the first page. 
Blue Jays with that one. Kind of need smaller post-it notes. So that goes to Toronto. That'll be for Brian Zeller. And out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go. There's Brian Blue Jays. He said, yep. What about Tyler Freeman? He sounds like a twin to me. No, he's an Indian. Cleveland. That will go to Adam Richards with the Tribe. We got Greg Jones. Greg Jones is a Tampa Bay Ray. That goes to Talon. We've got Nico Horner. That, I know that one. That's a Cub. That goes to David Sitko and the Cubs. Nice. He should be a pretty big name for the Cubs. The Cubs are hoping. Then we got Cody Bolton. Don't remember where Cody Bolton goes. Pirates. He's a Pittsburgh Pirate going to Zach M. Yeah, Wex and, Rex and uh, Will Christian like the Nico. And we've got C.J. Abrams, rookie signatures for the Padres. Tyler Peterson. Now, if this guy turns out to be what they hope he could be, that could be a Machado, Tatis Jr., C.J. Abrams infield, which could be pretty, which could be pretty crazy. All right. Let's, let's actually move some of this stuff out of my way here. Move this over here. Move this over here. Let's get this fantasy sports going. And you know what? I'm going to get that. I'm going to do five star first. I'm going to do five star first. Use one of these blank cards to hide the hit here. Ooh, we got I think we got a case hit in here. Out of one box and a mixer? I think I saw a golden graph. Down here is Trevor Richards. That's for Miami. That'll go to Quentin Carter. And the golden graph is Matt Kemp. 15 out of 20 Cincinnati Reds edition. Zach M with the Kemp. It's pretty cool. I like Matt Kemp. Injuries really... Really derailed Matt Kemp's potential. All right, so this is just a little blank box in here. So there's one, two, three right there, four, five, six right over here. Now this, I know, does not have a checklist. So in case they're in their non-pro uniforms, it'll go to the team they're currently on if they're active. And the team that they uh, played for the longest if they are retired. I don't think we're going to run into that too often unless they're in their college gear or if they're in their Team USA gear.
Never seen this product before, Will? We've done a few of these fancy sports. Basketball editions, baseball editions, and uh, football editions. It's a repack product, basically. A lot like the Jaspi's Big Hit Express. They usually pop in a couple graded cards. You can see the cases right there. And the unique thing about this is they'll also include a couple packs as well. Yeah, sometimes we've seen pretty high-end packs, too. Oh, we were just talking about Chris Bryant. There you go. Yeah, he might not be a Cub anymore after this season. There you go. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go to the Angels, Rex. They just signed Anthony Rendon. There's Mookie Betts. Dodgers might not even see him in action this year, either. And nothing really going on there. I don't know what year. Oh, uh, you're thinking, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the Angels do. I mean, if you put Brian in the outfield, I guess. They got Trout and Joe Adele in there. Maybe maybe a Justin Upton replacement. I don't know when his contract's up. First one is a 9-5 Vlad Guerrero Jr. So that'll be for Brian Zeller. Nice. And we've got some Cubs. There's Nico Horner. 9-5-10. There you go. Centering, a 9. Corners and surface, a 9-5. Edges, a 10. Is auto, a 10. Refractor autograph. Some scratching on the, on the case itself, but... All right. Next box. Mm, Chris Bryant on the Dodgers. Well, if they, if they don't end up getting uh, Mookie Betts, yeah, maybe maybe you get Chris Bryant. He can play a little outfield. Dodgers could use that. Maybe Justin Turner's not getting any younger. So Chris Bryant could eventually shift over to third. Ooh, remember fire baseball? Right. We did a little bit of Chronicles earlier. Show you Otani. More Chris Bryant. And a Nick Cufo autograph for the Rays. I'll go to Talon. Shoei Otani Atomic to 99. Nice. All right. First is it's a big C for Crawford from Definitive. That's a one of one. Who's got the Giants? Kevin Smith, last spot mojo. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And the second one in here. The adhesive caught on the, on the hit. It's going to be Mark Trumbo, rookie autograph for the Halos. And that's Chris Welty with the Angels. All right. All right, the next box.
Got some old, some uh, Prism Bay. What year is this? This is oh, 2019 Prism Baseball. I remember doing a lot of this. Did we? Oh, now I remember it. There's Kyle Wright, Nick Williams, Syndergaard. Ooh, nice. Luis Castillo, 33 out of 99 zebra print. Great pitcher for the Reds. Zach with the Reds. Two hits here. One is going to be for the Rays. It's Wander Franco. Gem Min 10. Definitely hold on to this one, Talon. Talon and the Rays. It's a pretty well-regarded prospect. We've got to see what he can do in the majors. And we've got... Whoa, we're giving this away. We're giving away a better one. Here's a Mint 9. PSA 9 Frank Thomas. For the White Sox, that goes to Will Christian. We're giving away the out of 10. Yeah, this is a pretty fun product. I like the I like the pack idea. I think that's interesting. Wander Franco is a six dollar card. Good. It's got room to grow. It's got room to grow. First one is Hunter Bishop, 10-10. Nice. It's just those corners that keep it from being a black label there. 10 on the centering edges and surface. Corners a 9-5. His autograph is a 10. That's Hunter Bishop, purple to 250. For the Giants, that's going to go to my rivals, Kevin Smith. That's right, first round pick as well. And we've got a 9-5 Tatis Jr., from 2019 Archives. Nice one for the Friars. That'll be for, uh, who's got Sandy? Tyler Peterson. All right. Next box. Yeah, no, no feud tonight. For some reason I got, kind of got, ro uh, we were watching Mr. 3000 on MLB Network. And that kind of led into this Angels Red Sox playoff game from, 2008. I just kind of kind of got roped into this. Jake Lamb, Rookie Essentials Autograph. It's kind of surprising to get autos out of these uh, little single packs here. Well, that's still nice. Uh, Diamondbacks, that goes to Ron Shepard in the Diamondbacks. Oh, and a, yeah, a Bowman First Edition pack. Hmm. 
When did they pack this? And uh, Elu Harris Montero. There you go. That goes to the Cardinals. That will be for, and it's just paper here. Oh, and a Dominguez. I know the first edition prices aren't, not surprisingly, as big as the regular versions, but that's still pretty cool. Wow. Yankees, Jacob. What a break for the Yankees. Is there, what is there, a Jeter in here now? And we got Adley Rushman, nice. In his college gear, but we know where he goes. He goes to the Orioles. Future of their catching position going to Brett Myers. There you go, Brett. And the graded card is going to be Juan Soto. Nice. 2018 Topps Chrome Update Juan Soto. Graded a 9.5. 9 fives, uh, centering edges, corners all a 9-5, surface a 9. Rookie Juan Soto, Nationals, Brandon Walker. Nice, one more and then the autograph baseball. There. Not kind of, it is a fat pack. What's in here? Hmm, got a big 2015 Bowman pack here. I'm going to slide that off camera all the way back there. This is interesting. Gold paper for the Cardinals. All right, nothing too significant there, but. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's do the non-graded card first. It's Donnie Baseball, Don Mattingly. What a break for the Yankees. Signing, signings of the times. All right, there, jersey and autograph, 78 out of 82. An old 24, 2004 Fleer Skybox set. And uh, let's see what we got here. We've got, wow, Pee Wee Reese. Good luck, he's, it's, it's old Dodgers telling us. History of baseball. Wow, that's pretty nice. I don't think this is numbered. I think that's just the set. It's 8 of 16 on the set, I think. But that's pretty cool. That'll be for Derek Melanson and my Dodgers. Remember, remember old Slick Field and Pee Wee Reese out there on the, on the fields of Ebbets. Ebbets Field, I remember watching him. Through a through a knot hole in the fence, or maybe in a tree, tuning the old wireless and hearing old Red Barber call the game. Those were those were the days. And then when the 
when they finally won the World Series, they left Brooklyn and they tore down Ebbets Field and they tore down uh, my childhood. All right, what am I doing? Oh, the baseball. We've got one more thing to do. Oh, your grandmother went to Ebbets Field for a field day in 1947? I was there, too. I was there, too. All right, put your thinking caps on. Who am I? I'm a three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, an AL Cy Young Award winner, and a two-time American League saves champion. How many saves champions have also won a Cy Young in the AL and won two World Series? And this stuff doesn't have a checklist, so it'll go to the team he played for the longest. Which I think has got to be the team that I most associate him with. Yes, it is. Uh, not Eckersley, not Tom Gordon, not Goose. You're kind of on the rider track, though, Oliver. Chris Sale's a starter. So is Burt Blylevin. Two-time American League saves champion. Wait, was Blylevin a starter or a closer? I don't know. I'm blanking on that. How many career saves did you have? 238 career saves. Played uh, for one, played for five seasons with the Red Sox, then to the team I played for the longest, then the Rangers, Phillies, and White Sox. Played for this team between 1972 and 1978. And uh, all three of my All Stars were with this team. And he won the Cy Young in 1977. Jack B's got it, yep. Sparky Lyle. See you guys, see ya, Ramon. There he is, Sparky, oh, with the 1977 AL Cy inscription on there. And that goes to the Yankees, played for the Yankees the longest. That's another hit for Jacob and the Yankees. There's the TriStar sticker right there. There you go, nice. And there's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everyone for getting in. What are, oh yeah, we're giving away this. So the name on top, we're gonna re-randomize your names. The name on top is gonna, we pulled one of these before, but this one is a uh, Gem in 10. PSA 10 Frank Thomas will go to the name on top and the second name right here, we'll get the Tatis Jr. 9510. There you go. So if you did not have a good break at all, cross your fingers for that. If you had a great break, might be, uh, might be a nice, uh, nice cherry on top. So let's flip back to that list right there. We got Ron Shepard down to Brandon and the Nationals. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six times. Four and a two. One. Two. Three. Four. What did I say? Four and a two? Yeah, six times. There's four, five, and six. Top two names get it. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action. Really appreciate it. And congrats to Bulldog fan. I don't think I called your name all break, Will. So there you go, man. You got the Fernando Tatis Jr. and the PSA 10 Frank Thomas, Adam Kupperman. Both people who won spots in this break. Appreciate that. Congrats twice for getting into the break and then winning those cards. There you go, boys and girls. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time for more. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. See you.